Hello teachers, I am Yogesh Kumar from the Competitive Grid System, which is a non-profit organization based in Canada. Uh, we provide the contest which is free for all kids across the globe. Uh, and these are beautiful contests um, in many different areas as you can see on the screen. So today I want to show you some of the features that we have for these contests. Uh, so we'll start with, uh, with the first contest, which is math, which is one of our most popular contests. And, you know, thousands of people have already signed up. And we hope that you can sign up your student and the, and, and the class. Uh, they will not only get to participate in the competition, but as our philosophy is to learn, compete, and win. So they will have a learning. Uh, we are releasing the weekly challenges that they can practice every week. They can also win a lot of prizes that are available for them. So we are looking forward to see you and your student uh, learn, compete, and win. So let's start with the math one. So let me click on the first one, math contest. When you click on that, uh, we will create your account. If you're a participating as a school, you just need to uh, get the name and the grade of the student. We know, don't need any private information or, or any information, sensitive information about the student. We just need to know their names and the grade. And based on that, we create their account. And once the account is created, you can distribute those accounts to them. And they can, uh, from there, they can participate in the, uh, the contest. Uh, and they can also learn. So we are, for math contests, we are doing the weekly challenges, as I said. And you scroll down, you could see, the, you know, we have released week one. You know, first topic was money matters. We want to know about how, you know, up to use money and a, a money related problem solving question. We wanted to be a little more creative. We wanted to talk about Sherlock Holmes and how the logic and puzzles that get, uh, you know, we wanted to introduce to uh, to the students. And, you know, third week three, we are focusing on the power of visualization. We want the student to, to be able to visualize. Uh, and, and we are doing it through some of the area maze puzzles. They should be able to think about the 3D um, the 2D and you know so first time people start you know when they see the problem they start doing complex algebra but the idea with these problems is you don't really need algebra you need if you understand the problem if you are able to visualize what is given then you can just solve these problems in your head these complex problems they're beautiful problems there is a training session that you know there's like three four hours worth of you know, lessons that the student can uh, use it <clears throat> before they start to, to solve these problems. Now, let's, you know, one of the common questions uh, that we get from the teachers is, you know, how do I see the solution? Because these problems that are even new to the teacher, sometimes they want to refer to the solution. So when you click on uh, any of the weeks, when you go inside there, the, the he, each week is divided into three sections. The first section is problem solving challenges. So each week, we provide four level of uh, challenges, uh, difficulty le level one to difficulty level four. Uh, although we believe that it's up to the, the student and teacher which difficulty level they want to operate uh, at, but at a high level, very high level guidance is, you know, this, the one star is for elementary school kids while four star for high school kids. And there is a, a good range of problems that they would see in between. So the teachers and a student can decide how they want to operate. And its idea is to improve wherever the students are. You know, if they are at level one, they want, want to improve to level two. If they are level two, they want to improve to level three. And we believe that these are challenging enough for all students, whichever level they are, they will get the challenge and they will learn out of this process. And then that's the first part of the problem solving challenge. The second part is, is these drills, addition and fraction drills, for example, is for the first week. So every week there are new set of drills. So we, you know, these drills are timed uh, set of questions. These are focused on more on the mental math ability. So we give a student, you know, some automated quizzes. They can have unlimited attempts. So the idea is that Within a very small time, like three minutes, you need to solve 20, 25 questions. And uh, in the first attempt, the student may not be able to get all 20 correct. The idea is that as you keep practicing, you start building uh, the mental memory. 
and more than mental memory there are strategies for example you know if you want to add so we can rapidly add by rounding so there are a lot of strategies that kids can also learn uh, when they are like, you know especially in the beginning uh, year of their learning so they, they can learn how to become faster uh, so so this is you know our contest has two parts problem solving part of it and the second part is is these uh, drills part of it right so the mental math so we, we are giving enough material to the students so they can learn and all the mental math problems in the final contest will be from whatever we are like giving to them so if they practice well they do well so we want all the student to do well so if they are already good that's great if not then they can practice and they, they can do well uh, in the contest when we do it in uh, you know later half of the may and june okay so now and the third part is the games and brain teasers we want you know, students to also enjoy you know they want to play the game so instead of doing the math the boring way sometimes it's more fun to shoot some numbers you know and gain some points and this there are, so we have different kind of uh, games uh, that student pl uh, can play there are some puzzles so there's fun there's a lot of every week there's you know a lot of interesting thing that a student can learn now coming back to the question that teachers have that they want to know uh, th about the solutions if you know some student come to them and they want to refer to uh, the solution they can go here and they can go to any of the quiz and when you go inside the quiz they can click on the preview quiz so when they click on the preview quiz it shows them the question they can attempt the quiz but there's no need to as a teacher you want to directly go or go to the solution so when you finish the attempt uh, once you click on finish attempt at that point of time it also asks uh, you know after that submit all and finish so when you submit all and finish at that point of time it will show all the questions and it will also show the solution for those questions you can see there's a question number one there is a solution all these solutions are written in latex so sometimes it may take you know two three seconds for it to load so just allow it to load so you can see the well-written solution so you can see number of questions and their solutions so we hope uh, your student will enjoy all these uh, problem solving assignments the all these drills the games and if you want to see the solution, you can read the solution and, and you can guide them. Uh, and if you have any recommendation, you, you know, and you want to add better solutions, you feel free to always reach out to us. Well, first thing, uh, first, right, you know, let me go back to the course that this whole contest or this whole set of six contests are completely free. It comes with beautiful training. It's all free for you and your students. And we encourage all of you to use it. You know, the thousands of students have already signed up. We want to, to see thousands and thousands of more students who take advantage of our offering. And as a nonprofit, we are working towards getting the sponsor so we can run these kind of program. So you don't have to focus on that side of, you know, arranging money, running that in the class. So that we take all the worry from you. What we want you to do is just enjoy uh, these programs, get it to your students, help them learn. And if you have any feedback about the difficulty level, if you have any ideas and thoughts, we are always uh, looking forward to hear from you. Okay, so now a few other things I want to show you. Then when you're in the course, uh, if you go to the, on the left side, the three things you press, uh, it shows the entire menu of the course. And there are only four weeks right now because we have released our three weeks. Fourth week is coming very soon. So we'll keep releasing more and more material every week. So by the time contests happen, the, the students will have enough to learn if they spend uh, time on it. And we have seen certain students, you know, from these like uh, the public schools, they have spent uh, 50 hours already, you know, 50, 60 hours. And they are enjoying the course. We can see it through their activities, the, through, you know, their engagement they, and, 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 not only they are seeing all these material here you could just drill down what is in here but they also you could see if you look at the left side of this uh, or sorry right side of the screen there are a few other things that are available for teachers and uh, students as well if you want to know you know how many quizzes the student has completed 
So you click on the overview of the student, it'll show the exactly what the students have completed, what they have not completed, if you want them to complete. Uh, they also, um, you know, are, are the, uh, in, in, this is our fourth contest. In the last three years, the students have used heavily and their millions of problems have been solved uh, by the student for free on our platform. And we wanted, you know, your student to use the same platform too. The student also have the ability with, you know, that to go to the leaderboard. This leaderboard is specific to your school. When you click on it, you can see all your students and how they are doing with respect to each other, who is leading, what many points to do. So this is, it's not to uh, to scare them, but the idea here is to create a slightly uh, comparative environment for students, number one. And number two, thing what we also want to do that, uh, uh, the students are also able to motivate each other, right? There should be a healthy competition between them, uh, if that's possible. Uh, a student will not be able to see other score. It's only the teacher here they can see in all their classroom. They won't be able to see other schools, other classroom. It's only specific to the teacher. You can see in the school, but you can also see the rating across the school, right? Not the student level, but you could also find out, you know, how. Uh, other schools in the world are doing, you know, and who is leading, who is not. It's just to create a, a slightly competitive environment, you know, while even during the practice uh, that they are doing. Also, you know, it also shows that how many, how much time the teachers and students are spending. If you want to know, you know, how much time a student, if a student wants to know the, how much time I worked on, it also calculate uh, automatically that how much time the student, you know, as a student, I can only see my time. As a teacher, you can see the how much time the people are spending on doing the solving the problem, doing the quizzes. These are some of the good features that we have for you. Uh, as I said earlier, our entire focus as a nonprofit organization to help the student learn, compete, and win. If you know, the competition, there are so many competition, right? So we want this competition to be a differentiator. We want to focus on learning. We want to provide a lot of good learning, uh, healthy learning, uh, and then then want them to compete. And then we also offer them a lot of awards. So we hope your students and your classroom will definitely enjoy these uh, these programs. Uh, if you haven't signed up already, uh, we are just email away. What we really need is a student name, their grades, and uh, yeah, and then we do need it from the school's registered email address. So we just want to make sure these contests are run fairly for all students. So thank you so much for your time. And we are looking forward to see thousands of more students participating in these amazing contests. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us at info at ckstem.org. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.